In this video, I share how you can install fonts for your iPhone or iPad, allowing you to extend the functionality of amazing graphic design apps like Pixel Matter. And if you're interested in thumbnail apps for YouTube or how to create amazing thumbnails with your iPhone, then stick around because adding fonts can really allow you to craft unique thumbnails just for your channel. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. Like inspiring viewers to become subscribers. Check this out. I found a very inexpensive, I think it's a $1.99 app that makes it really easy to install free fonts to your iPad or iPhone. Let's jump on my iPad and do it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and install fonts, custom fonts on your iPhone or iPad. It's very, very simple. Step number one is you're gonna wanna access the App Store and you're gonna search for any font. Uh, notice it's a green app with white lettering. Download any font. I believe the cost is $1.99, fairly inexpensive, really powerful. And again, uh, it just allows you to do this. Actually, the thumbnail that you're looking at now contains only custom fonts that I installed for free. Now, um, what's interesting is you can pay a lot of money to grab fonts, but often you can find them for free, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. And step two is to access the Chrome browser. This might work in Safari, however, I use Chrome and it works well. Then access the website Defont. This website is uh, continuously updating lots of uh, fonts that you can use. In fact, this personality I really like a lot. So I'm gonna um, install that on my iPad and then we'll see if I can actually use that um, with an app that I use for thumbnails. So to do that, I click on download and here you're brought to this page. Now what you're gonna wanna do is click download in the lower right hand corner. I'll click that, you see it's installed. Next, once you've done that, in the same spot you click to download, you'll see now we have open in. I click open in and now we're gonna have available import with any font. If you remember, that's what we installed in step one. I'll click that now. And now I'm gonna scroll to P. There we go, personality demo. So I'm gonna click that to install. It says creating a, per a profile. Then we're sent to um, the settings on the iPhone or iPad. I'm gonna click install uh, code. And then I'm gonna say, uh, I want to install this, and then I'm good to go. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the fonts you download, you've got a license to use. If you're using them personally, you're good to go. If you're gonna use them commercially, then you may have to use uh, pay to use the font. Now after that's done, I'm gonna open up my favorite um, text editor, which is Pixel Matter. And I wanna see, and you can see here, I'm, I'm using uh, two fonts that I absolutely love. This one is the Comics Loud, and if I click on uh, text, you can see it says Comics Loud, really awesome. And what I can do is I can actually uh, cut that, and then let's add again some text. So I add text, and first thing I'm gonna do is blow this up so it's a little bit bigger so we can see our font. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make it the color white that I like, so I select that, that is good. <clears throat> now I can come in and change the font and notice I've got a lot of neat fonts like this Agent Orange, or I can come in and let's look and see if we have personality, something, to, something like that. There's Comics Loud. How about Delusional? That's a, a font I recently just downloaded. Really excited about that. I think I'll use that for a playlist in the future. And here's our personality. And it's, uh, it's okay. Let's come back and blow it up a little bit bigger. See what it looks like. So I'm not sure if I would use this for thumbnails, but maybe for something else. And that's just how easy it is 
to install fonts, hundreds of different fonts into your iPhone or iPad. In the future, I'm gonna make an additional video covering Pixel Matter. However, for now, I've got a great tutorial that will get you started. And I'm gonna to link to that in the YouTube card now. Now before moving on, I'd love to get your feedback on how you craft your thumbnails and share any tips that you can. I'm, I'm really looking to improve my thumbnails and I believe we can learn something from everybody, whether you know you got six subscribers or 26,000. I would love to hear any comments or ideas or tips you have on thumbnails. What do you like about mine? Maybe what don't you like so much? Would love to get your feedback and uh, that will help me in the future. This is one that I like quite a bit. I like the chat bubble. I like the use of the fonts and the arm. It's different, it's unique. I think that's pretty cool. And if you haven't subscribed to me, B to the G, go ahead and click on the uh, B to the G logo below. I've got two hungry poodles and when you subscribe, you'll feed one of them. I'll see you next time. Poof, pixie dust.